For more than a decade, Al Griffiths managed the TJ Maxx store in Cape Coral, earning the trust and loyalty of his co-workers, friends, and customers. But while standing in front of the store for just a few moments in November 2014, an assailant opened fire at Griffiths, murdering him in one of the places he felt most safe. It was half hour before the store was to be closing up. And knowing my brother, his legs were tired. He had put in already a very long day, and he was just taking a short break. And somebody else obviously had something else in mind. It was a murder that shook the entire community. How such a mild-mannered man could be gunned down in cold blood at a busy shopping center just a week before Black Friday. I can't believe uh, my brother is gone. I can't believe someone would do this to my brother. He was, um, you know, a good guy, and none of it makes sense to me. Griffiths was a family man, a quiet soul who lived with and took care of his aging mother. The two are inseparable, and the pain of losing her child is something she's just not able to get past. My mother says it's been the worst six months of her life. This is her firstborn and her best friend. My brother was my mother's best friend. They did so many things together, and now, you know, she's at a loss. In the wake of Griffith's homicide, there's been an outpouring of support for the family, with an anonymous donor even providing additional funds to help encourage someone in the know to share their information with police. And while there is a $10,000 reward available in this case, detectives are hopeful that people in the know will come forward because it's the right thing to do for Al, his family, and everyone who knew him. Al did a lot for a lot of people, and that's why I don't understand why someone thinks it's okay to take a life away like that. It's not okay. So quiet, so peaceful, truly, it, none of it makes sense. And I can't imagine him doing something that would have spurred someone to do something. As for the investigation, more than 200 leads have been looked into, yet still no arrest. Witnesses help police come up with a sketch of the killer in hopes that maybe someone will recognize him. We will not stop until this case is solved and we find the person that's responsible. Until then, the Griffiths family maintains hope and faith that Al's killer will be brought to justice. Karma's a nasty boomerang, and I know that this person will get caught. Doesn't look too smart from the picture, so just lucky so far that he hasn't been caught. As I said, not if, it's when. For Southwest Florida Crime Stoppers, I'm Trish Shroud.